All right, guys, we got five days to rev up. Um, so a lot to do. We got to disassemble my old motor, um, do rod bearings, plug the head on the new motor. Uh, we got to do corner balance and alignment on Mike's car. We're going to do the speed C uh, EKP on my car as well. So a lot to get into. Let's get started. There's way too much to do. There's always way too much to do. I just want to go racing and my stupid car don't work. Do good. It actually like did work really well. Yeah, but that means it's about to know. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. First thing we gotta do is give Mitchell some shit. Look at this thing. You can see it. Yeah, Mitchell, nice driving there, bud. You got a pass, but I'm knowing life is fast. Everybody's got their path. Need you to meet me where I'm at. Can you see me through these tents? I bet they asking who is that. You seeing what I'm on, but you don't know me like that. Don't come in and tease it. Without a plan to treat me a please. I know what you need it. Let's not discuss it. Quiet with all of that fussing. Nothing is good, turn out to be easy. So give me the reason. We should rush it. You might want to play with my heart instead of the it's like every N54. So only things we're saving, alternator, power steering, water pump, and thermostat. The rest is gonna just go bye bye in the trash. Um, high pressure fuel pump we'll keep as a spare. I don't really actually need one. I think this is gonna be my third spare. So maybe if someone needs that, just DM us. We'll sell it to you cheap and I'll just give the money back to Mitchell since he hooked us up on the price of this. And then, yeah, we're gonna go power wash this thing now. Gonna get all the crust off and then we'll pull a pan and start doing bearings. I can tell you my problems, meditating my silence. But I keep pushing my pen, rotating my stylus. Brokenness feeling like seeing, not no breath, low dollar. Used to be left on red, now all the girls go holler. Now all the girls go follow. All the fake friends gonna pile up. All right, since I think I just played a game of how much I could splash myself while trying to clean this, we are looking a thousand times better. So I think I might just spray her down one more time. I don't really care about the pan because I'm going to use my own pan, but at least the majority of the crap is off, so that, that's good. And this side, just a big black hole, but looking much better, so let's keep touching it up. From strain, running from things, running from schemes. Couple things I know, couple things I show, couple things I don't. I can tell you my problems. So obviously rod bearings are much easier when the motor's out of the car. So you know we'll just pick a cylinder and start going wherever it is at first and just makes life easy. And then you just spin the crank to do it. Um, obviously never mix up the caps. These rods are broken and then that's how they the caps uh, Seal to the main part of the the rod um, Yeah, use a bunch of assembly lube and if you're using ARPs use ARP lube And we're gonna use King racing bearings what we always use so let's get started Get your ARP bolts put some lube on both the threads and where the flange is God damn it, Kyle's ruining this. And yeah, then torque it. These ones just happen to be, I can't look at the camera and do this at the same time. These ones are 36, so torque away. All right, not the most exciting thing to see, but they're all done. So let's throw the oil pickup on, the spray shield fucking thing, whatever that does, and then oil pan. What are those windage trays? I would've got there eventually. Talk about windy day. Talk about windy day. How's your fitment looking? Guys, my downpipe, now that we're making real jam, was melting my body. So I had like tire smoke coming in my body, which apparently which was actually- tire smoke? It was body sealer melting. Here, I'll show you guys. Yeah. Yeah, she was getting a little crispy in there. <laughs> so nice I, hits with the mallet. So I just smashed it, and then we added this, this sweet heat shield here, so I don't get cancer. And I'm, I'm kind of debating, like riveting some of this in real quick, just as well. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how I'm feeling. How much free time we got today. Yeah, I also have some stuff I can spray in and like with, a, with an adhesive, but I don't think it'll live. No, probably not. Is that like kind of that reflective fabric stuff? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. It might be worth a shot, but I don't know. This is kind of weird shape. Yeah, it's a weird crevice. Crevice. 
What's Kyle doing? Making a new cornhole box over there? Oh, I'm going to see if we have a good size for you. Yeah. If not, we'll go back to the Red Bull. Kyle's Red Bull cornhole box. Everyone at the bar gives him shit during his cornhole league. Kid can play cornhole, but shows up in a ripped Red Bull box. I'm hoping we have the perfect fit. Dude, we're going. Oh, shoot, I should have this. Right, this, 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 this. <laughs> this is a hostile work environment. Dude, I need some little ARPs to hold this thing on. All right, for the windage and pickup, we're using steel bolts because aluminum bolts are trash. And same with the oil pan, we replace all the aluminum ones with steel so that we can keep reusing them. Okay, re 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 reusing them, reusing them because, well, I've built like a hundred motors now, I feel like, so. I'm sick of buying $80 hardware. It's a waste. We're going to sell it. We're going to have a new baffle pan kit coming out soon, but yeah, peep that on the store soon. Yeah, I mean, really only... Cylinder 2 was the only place you could see copper or metal. The rest were not great, but not terrible. So, always a good thing to do. I mean, King Rod Bearings, it's like 150 bucks. Buy ARP bolts once. Good for a few installs. Like, it's peace of mind. So, now that that's done, we'll plug the head. These are our PCV plug kits. Um, this has been done basically a billion times before, but i to go over it real quick. I can, didn't want to stick it to that. Okay, this light sucks. I'm just gonna hold it. All right, so time to plug the PCV so you can see these little holes on each cylinder. And what that does is it allows crank case, crank case pressure to be sucked into the intake ports and that's why these look like trash. So these ones actually aren't bad. I'm gonna walnut blast them before going in the car, but when you're on a external PCV catch can setup, you just plug all those holes so that way all of the crankcase pressure goes out into your catch can. Also, so Earth to the world. Earth to the world. Stop using like high side, low side catch cans, just use a normal catch can, people. But it's a, a good scam gimmick. Dude, talk about the selling. high sides, oh low sides. God, just, just spent the freaking crankcases. Mike, it's magic, okay? One this says high and one says low. This is a special motor that is different than every other motor and needs a special cat. No, it's not. <laughs> it's, it's not. See what happens there is air comes out of the, cr the crankcase there and goes into the valve cover and then it goes. So sometimes the air says, I want to go to the high side and some says, I want to go to the low side. So you got to buy two catch cans. No, just plumb both of those to an external catch can. Bend it to atmosphere. Yeah, don't, you don't need to re-circuit anywhere, just... Literally a waste of time. I'm talking to you, David. I'm talking Ooh. to you, David. I know you watch this now. Calling you out. Calling him out. Poor David. Poor David. But, uh, yeah, you, you really don't need them. Just one. It all goes to the same place. Get it out of there. Get it out of there. So, all right. In the motor, kind of sketchy because you do have to tap these holes and it comes with a little tap. Um, what I recommend is putting a piece of cardboard with some like uh, engine loop in there and then anything that drops down will catch onto that. Obviously the motor's tilted that way in the car so gravity pulls it kind of down into the cylinders. I'm gonna tilt it this way so that all the junk's gonna fall out but we're still gonna put a little protection in there. Always use protection. Get the lube out, catch all the stuff coming out of the hole. <laughs> I just I mean, <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was bad. Got to us working. And that's why you catch it, because you don't want that in your motor. That would suck.
All right, guys, we're waiting for injector uh, seals for my motor, so we're gonna jump over and do the EKP delete. I'm gonna jump off the roof and hold this above my head, and I'm gonna fly. Like in Fortnite, right? Yeah. Oh. Dropping in with the boys. Does it fit? Pretty freaking sweet, I think. Pretty sweet, I think. I guess we'll take a peek. It's the same fucking as I had before. Yeah, that ain't gonna clear. <laughs> That's the same spot as I had before because it's a full droop right now. Yeah, but. Here, let me see. I'll put down the camera, put it up. I'll move it. I'll move stuff. But no, I mean just here. Hold it. Okay. This is an this is an angle. Yeah, I have stops in it. It doesn't have like full angle. Oh, it looks. You might want to skip me outside more though. All right, I'll get that little edge. All right. Well, apparently Mike's right. We're wrong. Ha. Ha. Ha! I put skewer more than angle. That's true, I guess. All right, so this kit's pretty sweet. Basically, we're gonna take the cover off this, and whoa, now my box is gonna fall. We're gonna screw in this, and then this is gonna be a dual relay, so I won't need the huge wiring harness I had running the second fuel pump. This will control everything. We'll plug into OBD and broadcast over CAN. When to trigger that relay, they have a whole uh, software that you just plug in super easy and yeah super nice wires everything's labeled powers grounds other than that um, if you did want to run your own relay which I thought about but they come with this wire so you don't have to well you just run a normal relay and it sends out the trigger to trigger your relay I figured we'll save the wiring and just use the AKP to do that EKP to do that so I pulled out my seat because it's kind of in a crappy location. You probably can't see, but yeah, with the cage, it kind of sucks to get to. So the only difficult thing I think of this is just going to be putting this pin in on the body side of the harness. Um, I'm sure you'll have to like put a flathead in there or pick or something because I probably don't have the special BMW tool, but we'll see how hard and I got to just lay in some weird contorted way to get to the harness, but yeah, I guess let's pop this open and see what we're working with. All right, so this is the difference when you take the cover off. The cover is gonna be used for the other one, but also I guess I forgot to mention is this back plate that bolts to the body is the ground for it. So you're basically unbolting the circuit board off of that with these two torques and then just moving it over onto that one. And we'll pop the cover back on and bada bing, bada boom. All right, so now that the EKP is back in the box, We'll go inside the vehicle, and this is actually way easier than I thought it was gonna be, so that's good, so. Let's... All right, so this is actually pretty easy. There's just two locks on the sides. You just pop in a uh, pick tool, open them up, push in your two labeled ones. Um, pretty self-explanatory, and then one of these goes to the pump, one of these goes to the battery. So we're just going to plug this back in up there, and put the EKP on those two 10 mils, so. All right, so camera didn't fit in the car, um, not with two hands, so there it is, back up and in. Easy as that, this is really simple. All right guys, we're gonna call it a video there. Not much to test on an EKP when you don't have an engine in the car, but Boost Lab did just send back the turbo, so we got that, so tomorrow we'll be able to throw the turbo on the motor, hopefully get the motor in the car, trans in the car, button that up, be able to turn it on, make sure everything's sweet, the goal for this week is to rifle out a bunch of videos, just getting everything prepped for grid life. So please subscribe guys, stay tuned for more content. Like 80% of you guys aren't subscribed. We feel like we're pretty okay at YouTube. Pretty okay, so you guys should subscribe. Um, stay tuned, we got a bunch of shit to do this weekend before rev up. And until next time, peace.